Hey, what's up guys? Mr. Free Coiner coming back to you again. I know it's been a very, very long time, but I'm still kicking around. I am still in the space. Uh, some of you might have seen some of the tweets that I put out there, but, uh, but yeah, I'm still around. And I think I might have explained this before. One of the main reasons why I do, oh, well, rather why I have, uh, really kind of, I mean, for all intents and purposes, stopped making videos is just because of the censorship that, uh, YouTube has been imposing on pretty much everybody for anything, whether it's, uh, something that goes against their terms, uh, their TOS or not. I mean, for the most part. So either way, here I am again. Um, we'll see how this goes. So maybe I'll make some more videos. Maybe I'll, uh, go live or whatever. Um, but right now I'm feeling like doing it despite all of that. So again, let's see how it goes. Now I'm going to, this is not going to be a seriously long video. I am just going to go over a couple things. Uh, we have seen a pretty nasty drop. I mean, you know, considering where we were, prices did come down quite far. XRP, uh, I saw it get down at like 64 cents. Uh, it might have gone a little bit lower. Let's go ahead and just take, check it out. Yeah, see what the, what the lowest, of the, well, actually, hold on. It's like in the last seven days we got down in here yeah it was around 64 63 cents um so i actually bought a few uh, at that level uh I, I mean essentially i'm already loaded up i'm not really so much trying to you know fill my bags my bags are already packed they've been packed um but anyway if you feel like you're not uh your bags aren't packed or your bags are not full enough. You might want to grab some. I mean, it's still only 72 cents, was it? Or 70 cents, which is definitely not bad. But it, it's, it's unlikely, I believe, I could be wrong, that once uh, things kind of finish up, once we go through, go on this uh, trip, it will not likely get down to this level again. But I could be wrong, like I said. Um, there's, there are a lot of projects out there. There's my two main are XRP and strong. I know some of you guys hate strong. Uh, you have, you feel some type of way about it, but I can tell you this. Um, despite what may or may not happen, despite, you know, any of that, the thing about it is we all want some type of passive income and i can tell you this in my experience i started off with two nodes i have more than two nodes you know several more than two nodes now and uh, at one time i had a lot of strong you know but putting it reinvesting it to create more nodes uh basically getting myself to my goal of a certain number of nodes that was my mindset I wanted to get to a certain level before I really just kind of stopped. I mean, there are a lot of people out there with, with, uh, you know, 20, 30, 50. I mean, some people even with a hundred nodes, some even, um, were above a hundred because at one point, well, not, not so long ago, they were allowing up to 200 nodes. So there are some people even at these prices making a ton of money. They got in really early when it was just in the double digits, uh, strong was. So uh, I'm, I'm saying all this to say there's nothing wrong with passive income in everything we do. Okay. Just remember this. Everything we do in the crypto space is a risk. XRP is a risk. There's no guarantee. I mean, we feel strongly about its potential, but there's no guarantee that it's going to do anything above what it what it's already done there's no guarantee any of this stuff is going to do anything considering the 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 temperature of every all the events going on in the in the country or not just in the country in the world i mean there's no guarantees so if you feel as though you want to try something out i mean 
what's one strong node? Right now, that's $2,700. Seems like a lot of money. But there were people getting in when it was $500. And I fully believe, okay, because of the popularity of strong nodes, right? And then there are other, uh, other nodes that you can get. But me, the way I look at it, I want to stick with one, get the profits I need, get to the, you know, achieve my goals, and then start to move and branch out from there. I personally, because I've done more research into Strong, because I've seen the team, I've seen the guy who is behind it. Um, I really like his outlook and, and, and what he, you know, is planning and trying to do. That's why I'm going to stick with Strong for now. Um, I think, uh, one thing I was watching actually, big, uh, I'm sorry, blockchain backers video a couple of videos ago, and he mentioned getting into nodes some time ago. I'd never, now me personally, I didn't know there were any nodes going on back in 2018, but you know, I didn't know everything in the market. However, he said that, you know, all the ones he got in, they, he never took profit and uh, he, uh, basically they went to zero. Okay. So that is definitely a lesson. You have to take profits. You have to get to a point where you are, um, uh, reinvesting, but you're also taking profits. So I know myself, what I'm going to do is get my initial investment out and then I'm going to continue going back, uh, and, or rather creating the nodes. So I think that is the best plan before, and even before I branch out into anything else, because there are, are polygon nodes on the strong, uh, platform. I'm not even getting into that yet. So I think, uh, you know, with so many opportunities with the, uh, meta verse and all that NFTs, there are a lot of opportunities out here. I would just say consider your options and proceed. Now, again, I'm not a financial advisor, so this is just my opinion, but, you know, proceed in a, in a, in a way that's going to best benefit you. And also that's going to give you the most peace. That's in my mind, what's important. Um, I think we're really going to need something outside of, uh, conventional finances uh, to kind of hold, keep our wealth, to keep our, uh, our value in our, um, money or whatever. So just something to think about. Again, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not giving anybody any advice, just providing my opinions. All right. Beyond that, one other thing, as far as it goes with the SEC XRP, you know, ripple SEC case, um, I know this is uh, most, most everybody knows this is all going to work out, right? Or we all have a feeling that it's going to work out, right? But the way I look at it is none of this makes sense. The SEC's argument makes no sense. They didn't provide any direction. They didn't provide any information. They looked at everything that, that, that Ripple had. They never called foul. They never said anything to them. In my mind, all of this was just a way to get as many people out uh, or to sell their XRP as possible. I could be totally wrong. But when you look at who's using XRP right now, there are banks using it. There are companies that are using it, partnering with Ripple, all of this stuff. It really just, it, it, the people out there trying to FUD and, and say that XRP is, you know, they're going to, it's going to be deemed a security and all this other stuff. Look, there are far too many companies who have already partnered with Ripple and, and already using XRP for XRP to be deemed a security. There are other, you know, very, wealthy people who have XRP, right? We know this because of some of the wallets that are out there with a whole lot of XRP. So 
how would the SEC have XRP deemed a security and then destroy everyone who owns XRP? Everyone. That doesn't make any sense. Now, like I said, anything can happen. Anything. But I doubt very seriously XRP will be deemed a security because of all of the individuals and companies that would be hurt. So I don't think we have much to worry about. It's just a, a pain to watch this all play out. But hey, it is what it is. And and then with the Russians, you know, with Russia invading uh, Ukraine now, uh, there's there's a lot of other stuff behind that. I'm not going to get into because you know the the wokeness of of uh, YouTube. There's a huge uh, deficit in 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 um, critical thinkers out there. So many people are totally brainwashed into believing what the officials say, and this is it's it's super super sad. I mean, we can see what's happened over the last couple years. A lot of people have been duped into doing things against themselves that will have and look there will be major repercussions for it those decisions have caused a lot of people to be forever changed so all I can tell anyone is to question everything that comes to you especially if it comes from so-called official sources make sure you vet that information make sure you know exactly what you're doing before you jump both feet into it because most of the stuff you cannot undo once it has been done your life is forever changed so just keep that in mind when you're um, making decisions about yourself about your children about your loved ones this is, is is extremely important it's it's the most important this is the most important time I believe in probably several hundred years I believe because we're looking at something happening globally this is the first time in, in history that we know of that something has affected the globe every person on the planet this is unprecedented so again become a critical thinker and vet everything that comes across your plate so that's all I have to say, guys. I hope this was, uh, you know, at least interesting. I I want to thank every one of you for stopping, taking the time to listen. I, you know, I know I've been away for a while, but hopefully this is the beginning of something new. I'm going to try to keep uh, some of the more controversial things out of the videos so I don't get woked. <laughs> so we'll see how this goes, guys. Um, I might be going live this evening, so just keep an eye out. All right. Again, thank you so much, guys. If you have not already done so, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the like button. I'd really appreciate it. And also hit that bell notification so you don't miss any of the future videos that I release into the world. Again, thank you so much. This has been Mr. Free Coiner. Take care of yourselves and God bless.